Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at a rotary tattoo pen machine. Uh, this is supposed to be a pretty inclusive kit, so we'll take a look. I'm going to give my first impressions as we unbox. I haven't seen this yet, so we'll be taking a peek at this together for the first time. All right, so uh, first things first, it actually looks like it's pretty packed full. Um, it's a pretty thin case. You might need something larger. It just depends how far along you are in your career. Inside, there are 20 cartridges. So that looks about right. And it says that they are all 10 gauge, five needle round liners. Yep, they're all the same size. So uh, you might need some others, but not bad to start. All right, and this is the tattoo machine. Actually, I guess I'll set that aside. We'll get to that last. All right. And then we have our power supply, some ink caps. Uh, this is your grip tape. And I believe this is about two inches and five yards in length. So you might need more than that. Uh, a pretty thin foot pedal, but I've seen these before. And then what is this? Pen machine covers. If I remember correctly, there are 200 sleeves. Yeah, so that looks like quite a few. Um, it's interesting, there are no gloves. So to have 200 sleeves, you would think that they'd sprout the extra few dollars for some gloves. And then also a skin for practice. And it looks like some spare parts and that is not really an instruction manual. So um, and if it is, I don't really know. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> not very helpful. All right, so I'm gonna close this up here. All right, taking a look at the tattoo pen. Um, it feels pretty nicely weighted. So that's a plus. And we're going to unplug or unwrap this here. Okay. And then I wish I would have taken the time to set this up ahead of time, but I wanted to experience it with you guys as I do. So you are getting a live review. Well, it's not really live if you're watching this recorded, but you know what I mean. All right. And then we'll plug into our power supply here. Oh, I don't know if you see that, but it popped out of place. So first impressions, uh, it's a little, hmm, I'm not sure I like that. Okay, so um, pretty adjustable there. That part seems to run pretty smoothly. And we will plug in. This is for the pen. And then we have a plug for the pedal. All right, I'm just going to set that down. Sorry, I'm working with a pretty limited space here. And then we shall open one of the cartridges. If you ever go to an artist and don't see them open this, run for the hills. All right. So hopefully there's an easier way to puncture this, which there is not. So I'm going to use a pen because I don't want to bend the plastic inside. That might actually, oh, here we go, open right there. All right. So just going to insert this and you should see that there's little grooves here that we line up with. Pop that in and turn it and we are locked and loaded. Um, very easy, especially considered or compared to most tattoo machines. So I'm just going to give this a little press on the foot pedal here. And I don't know if you can hear that. It's very quiet. Uh, even with the cartridge in it. Also, I'm going to scoot up here. I'm not sure if you can see. 
here we go. Um, this is how far out the needle is. So that's pretty standard where you want it to be. However, we'll see if this is adjustable. Most are. Hmm. If it is, oh, there we go. Let's see. Yeah, so in order to adjust it, let's see if I can tap into focus here. You just give that a little turn and you'll notice at the very tip uh, it comes out further. That's a little further than you want it to be. So um, overall, very quiet. The pedal is a little flimsy. Um, I'll probably purchase something a little more solid, but it is really responsive. Um, looks like it's got a decent amount of cord and um, I probably would like to see a longer cord on this power supply. Let's take a peek at that real quick. So you can see it's not very long. This is the extent of it. Um, let's see here. And then we of course have the tattoo covers, which um, I would have put on beforehand, but here we go. So that's nice, has a spot for it to run through already in there. Let's see if it's just my gloves or if this is, hmm. I'll have to play with this later, but it looks like they're pretty stuck together. Um, I'm not sure how useful these will be. I have other ones that are um, a little more open. And then um, this practice skin, it's pretty, pretty thin compared to others I've had. Um, I have a pack here that I've purchased that's a little bit on the thicker side, also a different complexion, but this is really nice for just being able to see uh, you know, the, the ink clearly. So overall, I'm gonna give this five out of five stars just because of the quietness, the grip. Um, you'll probably need to purchase some additional tape. Uh, if you do wanna stretch this, something that you can do is you can wrap uh, paper towel and then just wrap like two pieces of tape around it instead so you're not using as much. You probably only get like maybe three to five uses out of this otherwise. So nice product.